Hi everyone, welcome to Patents TV. The featured solution for February 2018 is the Erskine Green Training Institute in Muncie, Indiana, and Megan Stevenson, the director, has joined us in the studio to fill you in on how this institute is extending exciting post-secondary training and job placement opportunities to individuals with disabilities. Hello, thanks for spending some time today um, to listen about Erskine Green Training Institute, um, which is a program of the Arc of Indiana Foundation. So about uh, two years ago, um, we just wrapped up two years, we started uh, a post-secondary training program in Muncie, Indiana, with the focus of training vocational jobs. So our students come from all over the state of Indiana, and we do accept out-of-state students as well but our students have completely exited the high school setting. Um, so they are not still receiving services um, from the high school that they attended. They've completely exited, either accepting a certificate of completion or a diploma. Um, we do not require a diploma of some sort. So we are looking specifically at the vocational skills that a student has um, and making the, de the determination of whether or not they have the skills necessary for a program that they have applied for. Students choose one from the nine training programs that we have to offer. Uh, these training programs fall within three categories, hospitality, um, restaurant, food service, and then the healthcare setting. So within those three um, program areas, students are selecting one program, and that's the one program that they would learn during the duration of their time at EGTI. Um, so examples of the programs include heart of house within the hotel setting, front desk agent within a hotel setting, and then we have hosts, dishwasher and kitchen cooks within the restaurant setting. And then for healthcare, we have patient transport, inventory distribution, nutrition services, and environmental services. So out of those nine programs, students select the one that they have the most interested in um, and what they feel their skill set is best in. And then when they come to our program, they're living at our hotel for 10 to 13 weeks. Um, so EGTI is located within a hotel and students are living within one of the hotel rooms, either in a room by themselves or with a roommate. Um, and during the day, they are attending class either at the hotel um, or they are going over to the IU Health Ball Memorial Hospital and receiving job training. Um, we have staff there on site that do the training. Um, and then in the evening time, students are free to make choices and do whatever leisure activities that they want to do um, with the support of part-time staff that we have there for students. Um, so there's 24-7 support. Um, so students who need support doing things like laundry, uh, getting out in the community to go get groceries, or going to get medications from the pharmacy, we have part-time staff there are, that are able to support that. And then we also have overnight support. So we have the full-time staff there during the day doing the job training. We then have part-time staff there during the evening and weekends helping students get out into the community. And then we have the overnight support staff there to provide um, any support that may be needed during the overnight hours. Once students have completed their 10 to 13 week training with us, they then move back to their hometowns where they then work with a job coach um, through an employment provider of their choice where they then go look for a job and then receive any additional on the job training that they may need during their time there. Now that we have two years under our belt, and uh, this past month we just started year three, we have graduated 80 students from our program, um, and we send out post follow-up surveys to identify what students are up to now vocationally, and so far we have an 82% um, placement rate, which we're pretty proud of um, right now. A few uh, questions that we get regularly. One, what if students don't know what to do? They're interested in maybe a program like ours, but they don't know what program. Um, so we have what we call career sampling sessions. Um, we also have general tours that we offer monthly. So if this is something that the students you're working with would be interested in, or your, your sons or daughters would be interested in, um, I would encourage you to go to our website where you can find information about career sampling sessions. And our website address is www.erskinegreeninstitute.org. Thanks, Megan, for coming in today. We appreciate your time. You're welcome. 
And thank you for watching. Tune in next time on Patents TV. Find us by searching Patents Project on Facebook, Twitter, or YouTube, or on the web at patentsproject.org.